The US Track and Field Championships in Oregon are about to get underway, and the level of talent competing this year is some of the best we've ever seen. In the men's 100 meters, the battle to place within the top three is going to be intense, with top tier athletes such as Trayvon Brumell, Fred Curley, Michael Williams, Marvin Bracey, and Kenny Benerick all aiming to make it onto the team for the World Championships. The defending world champion Christian Coleman will also be running in the 100 meters, but his eventual placing won't matter because he's already automatically qualified to compete at the world champs. A number of athletes who made it into the final of the US champs last year won't be competing in the 100 meters this year. These athletes are Ronnie Baker, Craven Gillespie and Noah Lyles. Baker and Gillespie won't be competing due to injury, while Noah Lyles appears to have his sights set on running just the 200 meters at the world champs. Out of the athletes that will be competing, I believe Trayvon Brumell is most likely to finish first, given that he's in good form this season and has already beaten Fred Curley at the Prefontaine Classic, along with some other athletes he will likely be facing up against. Brumell finished first at the US Championship last season with a time of 9.80, and if the conditions are favourable, I think he could be ready to drop a 9.7 run on Oregon's track. I believe Fred Curley will get the second qualifying spot, with the third qualifying spot going to either Michael Williams or Marvin Bracey. Kenny Benerick ran a surprisingly fast 100m time of 9.89 last season to finish 4 in the US final, but his performances so far this year are significantly slower compared to last year, which could mean that he's not in optimal form to compete in the 100. Michael Williams has the fastest time of any US athlete this season, with 9.86, but his poor display in the NCAA final could be a cause for concern. Marvin Bracey has experience making it onto US teams before, and he had a great start to the season by winning bronze in the 60 meters at World Indoors. Bracey ran an impressive wind aided time of 9.80 in Florida earlier this month, but he has yet to record a legal sub 10 this season. Like last season, I expect everyone who makes the team to run under 9.9 .9 seconds. In the 200 meters, Noah Lyles is set to compete despite being automatically qualified for the world champs as the defending champion. Lyles has the second fastest time in the 200 meters this season and may be looking to measure himself up against Arian Knighton, who holds the world lead with an astonishing time of 19.49. I have Knighton as my pick to get the first qualifying spot, and I think that the other two spots will go to Fred Curley and Kenny Benerick. Fred Curley finished fourth last season at the US Champs and failed to make it onto the 200m team, but this year around, I think it's likely he makes the team with four athletes being eligible. The other athletes that I believe have the best chance at making it to the final are Matthew Bowling, Kyrie King, Isaiah Young and Josephus Lyles. Last year's finalist Terence Laird will not be competing this year, which is a shame given his level of talent. Matthew Bowling won't be competing in the 100 this year, so having the 200 as his sole focus may work to his advantage, since it will be one of the rare occasions he's entering a competition and only performing in one event. I think the lane draw he gets will be the biggest factor for how he performs if he is able to make it to the final. Christian Coleman has entered himself to race in the 200 meters, but it remains to be seen whether he'll follow through and compete. He has a season's best time of 19.92, and should he be serious about competing, I think he'll be able to make it to the final. But I think running two events at the World Championships is unlikely for him. I believe that the most likely athlete to get a place on the team for both events is Fred Curley. Who do you think will have the best performances at this year's US Championship? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.